who rescued him guided our Brianna Brownlee through those harrowing moments as Ramirez's family continues to hope that their loved one will be found. We FaceTime with them and they were fine. They were heading back actually. Olivia Orega remembering FaceTiming with her baby brother, Pedro Pablo Ramirez and their stepfather. They were having fun. About their day of fishing on the Galusahatchee River, 30 minutes before their 16 foot boat capsized late Sunday afternoon. We heard yelling and uh, decided to get the binoculars out and take a look and see what was going on out there. And we saw a man floating in the river. Austin Zajek said he fought through choppy, frigid, white capped water to help rescue the stepfather. Yeah, I found him right out here. He was probably about 250 yards out, I'd say. And when I picked him up and got him in the boat, we were there. And then when I turned around to pedal back in, we were over here. So the current and the wind was definitely blowing us that way. And with rough conditions and seeing no one. Any more time, he might not have made it. Zaljak was left with a hard decision to get the stepdad back to shore. Hours later, Pedro Pablo could not be found. He has a daughter who that is his world. And so he would have fought tooth and nail to come, you know, swim back up the shore and get her. As this family, including his sisters, wait. They only have one ask for the community. Pray. <laughs> prayer is, um, chain of prayer is strong. And um, just pray, pray that he makes it safe or that we just find him. He's a good swimmer. He's a survivalist. Like, it, he, he's amazing. He's a good little brother. Like, <laughs> sorry. Ramirez's family also told me that they are very grateful of the love and support they have been receiving from the community, and they are just extremely grateful of the people who helped them search for their loved one. From the Caloosahatchee River, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.